Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I guess for me, Carl Jung was a pioneer, really, in, in, in his time. And he, he dipped down into, the uncon into his own unconsciousness, but also I think his work, it really brings a lot of light into, into, the, the, uh, into our un unconsciousness too. And so there's a very, I don't, for me, it's a very special way to look into, into the insight no, of, the, of the people. Um, I really engage a lot with the work through the archetypes, no? this, this energetic, um, the psychic energies that we have inside that different authors, they call it different things. But for me at the time, it really resonates. And, and I could really see um, inside of me many voices and many characters that I thought were me. But the moment I started working with our therapy in this, in this kind of, of point of view, I start realizing, okay, these are just part of me, you know, these are not me. And when you start naming them, <laughs> in the moment you have a lot of people inside of you, um, but uh, it's very nice because then you have your power back, you know, it's like when the judge came out and you are judging yourself, like, oh, wait, this is whatever name you, you call it, no? And then that, that uh, psychic energy, um, it loses a little bit of power, you know, and then you get back this power and then you can manage better. And, and so for me with art therapy, uh, as I was working in the, in the, in the temple um, through the, the deep immersion program, um, I was doing like a series of exercise working with these different archetypes, no? also depending on how the group was feeling and also sometimes working individually with the, with the people. But yeah, through different exercises, you, you know, we were, bringing up this, uh, these archetypes uh, or whatever was coming up uh, in the ceremonies and just, yeah, just bringing them into, into art, you know, into something material that maybe we, after we can talk to, you know, we can ask things to this mask we did or this picture or this collage or this piece of mud that we smash first and then we, <laughs> we do something with that. Yeah. And also the dream space, no, was, was a big part the dream space and the symbology that, that Jung opened up for me was, was really important. I was like working with my dreams prior to, the, to arriving to the jungle. And that was very nice work because through Jung, I realized the importance of creating your own symbology. You know, because sometimes when we have dreams, it's like, oh, I, I dreamt with a black cat. I'm gonna look in internet what the black cat means. And it's like, maybe you, just need to look inside of you what it means to you, you know. And I, for me, that was what 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 Jung was was also saying. You know that first of all is your your own symbology, what matters the most, and then you can go and look to the universal symbology, and probably we'll have something in common. But the exercise of building up your own symbology really helps a lot, helps a lot. And because, yeah, you start creating your own world and you start understanding and using these, these symbols for your own good. So